welcome to a new vlog today is a different day a new day i am halfway in my holiday halfway in my holiday um yeah so welcome to a new vlog i'm starting off this vlog afresh because initially i was going to vlog the whole holiday that's what i thought but then in between i thought to myself you know what i just need to take a break in between i am on vacation i do need to give myself that vacation time so that's exactly what i did for a couple of days but today doing something different and i thought i'll take you along going to nylon nylon beach nylon it's not nylon beach it's just basically a little island a little beach inside a beach right a little beach inside a beach it's like very much shallow you need to go by boat to go there and it's very deep as you go but when you arrive in the middle it's actually very shallow so So I'm going to be taking you along. It's a first experience. The last time we were in Crown Point, um, what do they call this beach again? Crown Point? In Crown Point, close to Crown Point. Crown Point is more like the central part of Tobago. So the beach is very close there. I forgot the name of the beach, but I was in that beach. We were there. I was at that beach um, the other day. So what I will do, write the name. I'm going to write the name here of that specific beach. We're going back to the same beach, but this time we're going to be going to the Nylon beach so in the center of the beach as um in the center of the shallow shallow beach shallow nellow in the like in the middle of it we're going to the middle going to the middle of it so also another thing that i've also come to learn or the one thing i've also come to learn see as you travel you learn a little tricks in between and some things you wish you could actually learn a little bit earlier so Actually, to be fair, my host did tell me about this when I asked her regarding how do we move around, how do you take taxis and all that. So, actually, what we've been doing, um, I've been taking uh, cabs where you actually have to call the driver to come and pick you up, which cost around about 80 TT. Uh, converting it to around about 15 US, if I'm not mistaken. So, you have to call the driver, the driver picks you up and drops you wherever and it will cost you 80 but versus if you actually walk down the street and cross over the highway it will cost you around about nine dollars tt nine tt or seven tt or five tt i'm not too sure as yet but we're going to be walking to that side to actually catch a local taxi and get to the other side versus paying 80 we'll be paying around about 10 or less than 10 which i think is a huge 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 difference so let's try something local what the locals normally do and how they normally get around and then when we get there probably do breakfast probably do breakfast and then after doing breakfast um go to the beach go to the little boat i think the last time i was there i met uh two or three people that were basically saying to me i met met two or three people that had done the whole experience of taking the boat from the beach that we're going to be in going to the shallow part and they told me that they paid around about 100 tt so let's see also the last time we were there we paid a uh, 120 tt for two beach chairs so yeah so it's going to be a whole experience i'm excited for it haven't been out in a while um if you haven't catched all the other vlogs uh links are right below in the description box and you can catch all the box all the other links in terms of where this whole holiday actually started but it's been absolutely amazing um enjoyed the resting part enjoyed the island i think the people are so so friendly people are so nice people are just like just so warm it's just such a warm friendly island it is very 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 hot though very 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 hot <laughs> but don't see me complaining about the sun a few days left here and then going to trinidad and tobago so we'll be taking a flight which is a 25 minute flight to get to the other side and spend uh four days i believe and then i'm going to be off to south africa then when i'm in south africa it's going to be a whole different thing so i will be taking you along in between might take breaks in between the days but yes also today has also been such a beautiful start of a morning because finally got the news for the graduation for the youtube made for you program 
I did know that I am graduating, but officially got the news where the graduation will be because my biggest worry was that am I going to be able to catch the graduation since I have to go back to work? But I will be able to catch it. And also this holiday that I was planning, I was like, oh my God, I'm going on holiday. Am I going to be able to be back on time to be able to catch the whole experience? Because I really did want to be part of the experience. So I'm going to be part of the experience. It's going to be happening soon. I will take you along to that as well, of course. So yes, finally graduating with YouTube made for you. And then also in the next two days, we do have a virtual meeting with the people or the man management of YouTube and we will basically find out what it all entails in terms of the whole year because this is going to be for the whole year so we did the eight weeks virtual program where we were learning and we had activities that we had to do in between and things that we had to do in between so now what happens is this year from my understanding is that we will have a manager who will basically be taking care of us for the whole year i will give you more details once i also get all the details on what's going to be happening and this is going to be a meeting on um, when it's Wednesday. the virtual meeting meeting is on the 28th so looking forward to that but yes guys yes so the hair how has the hair been doing the hair has been doing quite all right it's um it doesn't tangle as much it does get a little bit bushy um if i don't put the water but the minute i put water it comes back the curls get defined this morning i didn't put any water so it actually looks very much okay and i think it was a good idea for me to do a whole sew in although it gets a little bit hot but i think it was a good idea for me to do a whole sew in so yes this is also the fit of the dress this dress is a little bit too long so this is why i did this <laughs> It is a little bit too long and I have my bikini as well underneath also have a whole bag that's packed in terms of what actually because we're doing it's gonna be two different parts and I always like to carry um, extra clothes when you go to the beach just in case the dress or whatever you're wearing going to the beach gets wet and therefore you can have extra clothes so that's always my vibe of carrying extra 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 clothes so yeah I will catch you when we arrive and I'll also take you through the taxi ride um, the walk it's probably like a five minute walk so it's not that far uh, I'll take you along so you can see I'm already sweating <laughs> but good thing we're going to the beach um, we'll probably relax there for a bit and then get going okay see you when we arrive this is the dress oh let me just close here long the dress is very very long we can't walk like this so what I normally do is I normally tuck it in my bikini to make it I know this is so ghetto but yeah I normally do okay I did it a bit too much so I will do it like this then I will do it like this again because it's too long and I'm short so it's gotta work okay oh it's a little bit sideways but yeah, so you actually can't see as much. So it kind of, kind of, it looks like this is actually part of the dress. I don't know if I did it nicely now because I wasn't looking in the mirror. But yes, yeah, so that is the dress. And that is the back of it. Okay, and I'm currently wearing these. Don't mind my ghetto nails that I haven't done. And I don't know if I should wear these shoes. But I feel like I'm going to be carrying too many things if I take these shoes with me. Because I already have... Oh, I'm saying made in South Africa. Made in South Africa. I got them in South Africa. I don't know if I should wear these glittery ones. Or just stick to these. These are very comfortable. So I don't know, maybe I should just stick to these. Because um, I have extra clothes that I'm probably going to change to. Because the dress is just going to be pulling me, especially with the sand. I do have extra chocolate.
How are you doing? Good. <laughs> uh, the only guy from Canada. The only guy from Canada? No, that's the other Santa Claus. The other Santa Claus that's from, right. from <laughs> Canada. Have to have a time out. Well, actually, he's from up north. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He's got okay. 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 This is this is this is Winston Todd and Retard. I reach no, 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 I won't remember that. No, it looks like you're having a lot of fun though. Uh, so it's this one. Oh, that looks nice. Hey. got to we went to the other beach right and we thought we were going to get the boat from the other beach but we didn't we got the tickets there which was 100 tt as i was saying and now we took a shuttle from where we were in um, storm what's that beach called stormant i almost said stormant it's not stormant i think it's called um oh Stow bay we got the shuttle from Stow bay 
the guy came picked us up and we drove for like five five minutes i would say five ten minutes less than ten minutes and now we're here in the boat and i guess we're ready for more people to arrive and then the tour is gonna start i think i see a little island right there maybe that's where we're going just across where it's super shallow i guess but yeah it's such a beautiful day it's lovely it's just relaxing welcome to the island life welcome to the island life it's giving all the right vibes that's what i like Laying on the beach with sunlight in my eyes Laughing with my friends under the sky Following our hearts so then we take a ride Wherever I always try to let my spirit fly Fly away That's the only way to get that high I 
is just going through the most right now look at this island life right it's going through it going into that water was supposed to make me younger <laughs> but clearly not so last night we went out we came back from all the things that we were doing at the bow what is it the, um, i can't even speak right now the um, hee hee, what am i saying? the boat um the boat thing that we went to we went to nylon the line the nylon pool the, the nylon pool i think it's called the nylon pool yes we went there and then from there we came back um we came back probably around seven and then we decided to go out and go hang go hang hang with some people that we met at the boat that we met um at the boat amazing local people they were originally from trinidad so we chilled with them it was quite fun went out to crown point at monks i think it's called monks monks that's the place that we went to we chilled there for some time good conversation good chit chats oh it was just amazing just a beautiful night and then went to this one bar that is always 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 so packed and they were just playing some old school music uh good caribbean jams it was just amazing it was one of those nights oh yes then we came back home early came back probably around uh 11 12 yeah came back quite early we didn't we didn't stay out that much came back that early so now the plan is for us to we only have two two days i have two days left in um tobago then it's trinidad then three days in trinidad and then back to south africa so the plan is to get a car rental again for just two days and just finish off whatever is left in the island that we that that i probably still have to do i wanted to do the whole horse riding at the beach uh but i think you do that daytime i, I don't think you actually do it in the morning in like I, sorry i think you do it in the mornings the whole beach thing with the horse the horse riding with the beach um i think you do it daytime you don't do it what am i saying i think the horse riding um at the beach thing happens in mornings not necessarily um daytime wow just dropped my cranberry juice yeah okay. there's just a little bit left i think it's a sign for me to go shower and get ready for the day and stop being lazy because i feel so tired i feel so exhausted you i feel so tired i'm just like uh, and my eyes are itching from the inside i have allergies um so my eyes are itching like from here from just like right here in the inside going out it's really itchy and i have such 
a sunburn. I've been burned so much by the sun. It's not even, it's so crazy how I've been burned by the sun. But yes, let me go shower, get ready to start a new day. I'm stressed now. Why am I breaking out like this? It's like here, it's here, it's here. Maybe I should scrub as well. I don't know. And I haven't put any makeup since I got here, actually. I haven't put any makeup because it's so hot. And I just feel like this makeup is it's just going to drip. It's going to drip. It's going to drip. It's going to drip. Because it's like really hot. Finish this last bit of my cranberry juice. It's a little bit bitter, bitter, bitter. But yeah, we're going to go get the car figure out what the plan is continuing with this vlog i believe mm, i think i think i should i think yeah i'm gonna continue with this vlog i'm gonna continue with this vlog yes or maybe you start a new oh probably it's gonna be a start of a new vlog no it's me finishing off i don't know if i should finish this vlog or if i should start a new vlog no i think i'm gonna finish off today and then tomorrow will be a beginning of a new vlog if we do something different because tomorrow is going to be the last day here the flight leaves um maybe i'll also take you along my 25 minute flight from tobago to trinidad uh but that is also like because they don't um allow you to record they don't allow any video recordings or any pictures taken there i don't know why but they don't Look at my eyes. I'm so tired. Okay, see you guys. Is it showing properly? Yeah. So, the one thing I've noticed about the Caribbean, they do the scone. In South Africa, we do the bun. We always like, if you're buying chicken, especially fried chicken, you'll get like an extra of garlic bread or like a roll of bread or something. You don't get a scone. They do a lot of the scone. This is like, proper scone it's scones it has like a sweet taste to it so a scone and chicken together with pops and fries depends but you'll always get a scone as a side versus bread about three months ago, I was so driven to go on vacation after finishing my contract. My goal was to actually go to a foreign land and just be surrounded by nature and just sleep, eat, pray, sleep, eat, pray. So my initial place was basically Bali, Indonesia. So I wanted to just be around nature. I am a sleepy head. I love to sleep. I tend to sleep a lot, especially when I'm not working or traveling. But then it hit me. I have always wanted to go to the Caribbean. I don't know why. I guess I grew up watching um, a lot of shows on TV that always used to show the Bahamas. And I would get so mesmerized and I thought paradise every time I saw it. Then I grew up and I started traveling and I found myself in the Bahamas. Oh boy. And I was like convinced I had to be back for a little longer. I started visiting more islands and I fell in love with so much more and I loved the Caribbean life. So my decision was made. I am going on holiday on the, in the Caribbean. I'm going on holiday in the Caribbean. I'm going on holiday in the Caribbean. Trinidad had a special place in my heart. So I said, Trinidad it's going to be. At first, I was a bit nervous with all the admins of bookings and all of that. But let me tell you, when I touch ground in Trini, I knew right there when I had arrived. My soul was at peace. My heart was full. I couldn't stop smiling. It smelled so fresh, so, so refreshing. I was like, this, this is the place I have arrived. All I did was just be in the moment. Beach days were almost every day. I love being at the beach. I love how soothing the water is. I love watching the waves. I love sleeping at the beach. I love the sunsets. I love the sunrises. I love the quiet mornings. I love taking walks. I loved being in Tobago because I could live in the moment and do everything that I do love. Three vlogs are just a bit of how I saw life for two weeks, but there was so much more, so much learnings in this trip and I, so much learnings on this trip and I will forever be so grateful 
So thank you for watching. Thank you for tagging along with me. And I hope you have had as much fun as I did in Tobago while watching. Don't forget to catch all the other vlogs. So guys, this is me closing off Tobago. I'm so, so, so sad to be leaving because Tobago has honestly been amazing. It's been so beautiful. I don't think I have gone to so many beaches in my life. I don't think I've seen so many beautiful beaches and I actually haven't even covered most of them. Went just to a few, but I'm honestly, honestly going to miss it. It's absolutely, been a vibe it's been wholesome it's been um i don't have words to describe tobago has been paradise absolutely paradise it's been magic it's been paradise it's been beautiful i've loved being here i've loved breathing air from tobago i just loved the people i've loved the food i've loved everything 10 out of a uh, 100 out of 10 I, a hundred a hundred out of ten so now um we're currently in black i think this is called black rock beach did not come to this beach only discovering it today as we are about to leave go catch a flight to trinidad and tobago catching a 25 minute flight to trinidad and tobago i am really 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 sad to be leaving tobago i'm so so touched I'm so attached yeah so I shall catch you guys in a different day I shall catch you when we arrive in Trinidad and let you know how Trinidad was but Tobago Tobago I just want to say thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart thank you and cause the abulela ubalapa yo I can sign up the villain that emotional you just think to yourself like wow what a god what a god we praise what a god we praise yo I'm, I'm just I'm just out of words like I can just stand here for days for hours and just be saying thank you just be saying in course just be saying the abulela just be saying thank you so much thank you thank you. I cannot stop saying thank you because this has just been the most amazing beautiful vacation I've had thank you Tobago thank you thank you and course oh, and course this is me a girl from South Africa saying thank you thank you for your beauty Thank you for gracing, for embracing oh, your beauty, your beauty. Oh, Tobago, Tobago, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. It absolutely been, has been amazing. And right now, I'm gonna leave because I have to go catch a flight going to Trinidad and go and experiment and go see a different part of the island, the hustle and bustle of Trinidad. It's not as chilled as Tobago, but yes, Tobago, 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 Tobago. Yeah, we do. I'm like Tobago. Tobago, yeah, Tobago. Anyway, I gotta go, gotta go. Thank you, gotta go. Loved it here, loved it. It's been a whole vibe. I can't, I can't stop it. I, I can't, I can't. You know, here's the sad thing again, you know, about always traveling. It's like you settle in for a couple of days and you're like, oh, I'm finding my comfort, I'm finding my routine. And then where, just when you get used to the people, your routine, um, the whole vibe Jay, of just being around in one place and then you have to pack your bags and you have to leave again and that's exactly what's happening today pack the bags and leave and off to another location see you in another location